I've been seeing lots of stoats up at Ashwood. My remote cameras have been filming several males, searching for food, hunting, and carrying away prey. I've even seen a partially ermine stoat here this winter. I can tell she's a female because she's slightly smaller than the males. But stoats are territorial, and there's clearly one dominant male. And it's been interesting to watch him having run-ins with other animals in the area. Grey squirrels are first on his target list. In autumn, I see them foraging for seeds and nuts, and building drays ready for winter. This male stoat likes to hunt them during the day. but he's rarely successful. He also hunts at night, and when he sees his rat in the open, he goes for it. Surprisingly, these two are evenly matched. Neither wins the fight on this occasion. And he even manages to hold his own when he's faced with two. He's a fearsome fighter. He's also good at climbing trees, which he does in order to find food. And whilst checking out this nest site, he finds a male little owl But he's a bit too much for this stoat to handle. And he soon leaves. And the little owl doesn't take any chances either. But he's not put off and keeps briefly returning to the nest, even making his way into the nesting chamber. No wonder the little owls have found somewhere new to raise their young this year. Although this male stoat seems to rule the roost, there's one species that puts him in his place. When the stoat pinches the food left out for the buzzards, this formidable bird of prey soon shows him who's boss. But the stoat can't resist this easy meal, so the conflict continues. Soon I notice the buzzard sitting and waiting for this stoat. Before striking. I don't want any harm to come to the stoat, so I put in a feeding station further away. One on this log and another in a tree just next to it. And it seems to work. Stoats are so inquisitive, it isn't long before it shows up to feed. And I get great footage in the process. There's also such a playful side to this mustard lid. 
I often see him running through the woodland, flipping and turning and herring up the trees. It's just great to watch. Recently I've been seeing a female stoat around too. She's easy to identify because of the white specks on her nose. I see her at the Little Owl Nest site too, foraging for bugs, and even spending the night here when the weather's bad. I hope she'll stick around. Now there's a dominant male and female. It'll be great to see kits running through the area over the following months. I've loved watching the Stokes Ashwood this year. I'm looking forward to following their story as it continues. Make sure you check out my live stream to see if you can spot them. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more. Here's a taste of what you'll enjoy seeing on this channel.